Hello. So let's model this American football. I have a view at it front, top, left, isometric. That is what we're going to do. Let me take that over here. So, since this is an American football, I'll switch to inches. And start a sketch on the front plane. Hide those sketches. Yeah, those planes. And um, I'll start with a line here, here, and then some three point arcs from here to here, something like that, and another one from here over there. Make those two tangent. Draw more lines, one over here, one over there, and one over here. Now make those again tangent here, those here, and those two will be equal. So I looked that up on Wikipedia and a normal size for a football is 11 inches length and that height is 3.34 and that will be 1.2. All right, that's it from the first sketch. And now we're going to do a revolve of that region, solid revolve around that axis. And that will be just uh, 90 degrees. Okay, I'll rename that and call that ball eighth, because it's the eighth part, right? And maybe give that already an appearance, something like that. And we're going to shell that with a thickness of um, your shell 0.1 inches and remove those three faces all right and we can mirror that part over the top plane as a new, as a new part. All right. So, and let's hide that one for now. On the top plane, we'll create a sketch. That'll be a rectangle um, starting at the origin that'll have a length of 2.5 and a width of 
point two no point two five all right and then we will offset that edge to that side with a point zero five offset all right make those edges vertical and then draw a circle on that vertex with a dimension of 0.2 all right and that's it for that sketch now we will offset um, that surface so offset is where is it here right here that one point zero five all right now let's project that that rectangle to that surface so project curve that one that one that one that one direction from the top plane and target is that one all right we can delete that face and fill um them that projected rectangle and then thicken it here that's it take that surface and the dimension is 0 0.05 a new body all right um, so that is part three let's call that stripe and give that um, an appearance white all right do some filleting on that one And let's hide that for a moment. That edge, that one, that one, and that one with a point zero 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 one. Didn't want to take that one now. All right. That's it. Um now show that body show that sketch extrude that region here a remove through all of that body all right just like that um, now we're going to work on that uh, thread so that's on the right plane Let me turn that around here. All right, like that. And let's include some edges, that one and that one. And then draw 
um, uh, tangent arc here, down here, make a straight line from there, make another tangent arc, and well, let's connect that with a straight line. Um, let me see the constraints. Make that one here vertical. Make that one tangent. Make those two equal. And give that a um, dimension of point zero five all right and that again tangent with that line there we have it now hide those constraints and offset all of those um with the distance of point zero five. All right. Draw a line here. Another one over there. Make those two vertical. And accept that. And go into the extrude that region a new body and that will be point zero eight all right um we still get that sketch down here and we'll project that edge so projected curve that one from that very um, top plane and that is our target there it is okay so um, we can go into the uh, pattern, a curve pattern command. Let's start with a feature and that'll be that cut along that path. Apply that per instance and make that four times. All right. And next I want to um, pattern that one, but I need it in the full thing, right? We're right here on the center. So let me mirror that part, adding that over that plane. All right. And go back again in the pattern part thing now, along that path and sure, for times all right we got that we don't need that sketch down here anymore so that was sketch number two right so um well that's pretty much it right so now we're going to split that again here that part with the right plane, keeping that side here. All right. Let's do some filleting, including that part. Go into the fillet. Um, 
pick that edge, that one. Um, well, we could hide that for a moment. That one. No, wrong. That one. And sure enough, that one. And hiding that one, showing that one. That edge, that edge. Okay, it's hard to see. Mm. I want to, well, okay, the measure, the radius for that is 0 0.06. I'll just do it one more time, all right, for that edge here. Fill it, that edge. There we go. Got that. And um, let's give that thing that white stripe. So I'll go to the front plane, sketch on that, sketch a line here, going out there that way. Then, um, well, we could take that one, right? That one, um, that'll be one inch, eight inches, and three inches. Make that a construction line if you want to. Accept that and go into the split command here. Split. Well, and now again, we got to pick those um, filleted uh, faces. With that edge and that one. All right. All right. And now let's get those faces. One, two, three, four, five, and Six and apply uh, appearance white. Yeah. All right. So now we can mirror all that. Mirror big window plane is. That one, okay, all right, there are those stripes, let's get rid of those by um, Boolean operation. One more, bam, bam. all right, and one more time, mirror. Window, plane. Let's take that one. Take some time for one shape, a couple of seconds. Well, and that is the American football, according to my view. Well, Thanks a lot for watching.